You contend that the, that the West is winning the war against global jihad. In what way do you feel that's true? It's not just that we're winning, it's that the enemy is making it obvious who they are, what they stand for, and how they mean to destroy us. And that means that those who deny it in the West, the ones who are spreading the lies, are bound to lose. But have they uh, mollified us through uh, allegations of uh, racism? They've tried to suppress it, but again, every lie eventually must fall. And the whole Islamophobia scam, the whole claim that they're the victims, the more they attack us, the more that lie falls apart. How about the Democrats who allege in the same way that uh, they tried to, that if you don't support Obama, you're a racist, that if you uh, don't support uh, Hillary, you're an Islamophobe and people w will feel inhibited at election time? That's a great analogy. And again, increasingly you see people turning against it and rejecting the whole concept of it. Are we seeing that reflected in the mainstream media? The mainstream media is the organ, it's the propaganda organ, it's the machine that keeps the lie alive. You're seeing it among ordinary people, you see it in grassroots, and you see it in places like this, where even politically unengaged people come, and they learn, and they come back to their communities with a new message. The left will try to dismiss a gathering like this as a gathering of Islamophobes. Of course they will, because that's what the left always does. But they're not going to win, because in the long run, the truth is becoming more and more obvious with every Islamic terror attack.